Oh, really? Okay, recording. Uh, camera is enabled. Microphone is enabled. We've started recording. I'm just going to see what happens here. So here I am in my office. Hey guys, so you'll be able to see me racing. A quick little practice session here. Actually, I should set up the track we're going to race on tonight. So I'm going to do a select track and we are going to race at the uh, Hempstead 1. And we're doing Nitro car, modified, and option two is what they requested. And we're gonna load this, and now I get to set my car up to modify my car a little bit. I'm just gonna click here. I want it to be on a scheme, this, the intercept logos, and I want it to be my yellow wheels. Set up my chassis. I want to make sure that I actually have my uh, braking turned up. I need to make sure that my braking is turned up. Where's that clutch, brake, engine? Um, was it in the chassis? I was in here the other day. I don't really play around with this stuff too much in VRC, but I'm going to now. Whoa, look at all the stuff you can change, eh? That's pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to touch any of that though. Uh, I go into setup sheet. Setup sheet should show me everything. And really, I just want to make sure that my brakes are turned up. Uh, spring locking, tire diameter. Where's brakes? Because out of the box, brake, clutch brake was set at 30%. I want to make sure it's set at 70. Idle, fuel. Not, here it is. Max brake torque. I want to turn this up to like 70%. So I've practiced it at 70 previously. So I want to make sure that max brake torque is turned up. I'm going to apply this. Okay, um, close that, and then I'm going to do a quick practice, and we will do a quick practice session and see how this looks. And then I'll try and join into the live race, and then we'll record the live race. It should work. That's a beanbag chair over there. I've just got filing cabinets and stuff over there, a box for a projector, and just other stuff around my office. I am using a old Traxxas radio. Uh, this is a Traxxas uh, TQ top qualifier 2.4 gigahertz radio paired with the USB adapter. So it's like the real thing. Enjoy your um, racing. You can just go. It go. It's pretty good. And this modified car, it rips, man. It rips. I have practiced on this track a bit, but it's still pretty easy to mess it up. The, this is a nitro car, so it takes a little while for it to wind out, and uh, its braking is not that great, and even its handling is not that great, but uh, you can adjust all that stuff with setup, which I have not done. To marshal, you hit spacebar, and spacebar gives you the marshalling, um, so if you crash, Left one twenty seven point sixty two. Pretty cool. And you can zoom in and zoom out. So you can you can zoom in on the car if you really wanted to have a ridiculously tight look. I mean you can do stuff like this, but you can't really drive like that. So I pretty much have to zoom. This is zoomed all the way out. I usually try and zoom in two or three little taps, just enough um, so that I can see what's coming. Because it's hard to get muscle memory for some of these corners. Especially that one. Usually I want to go full speed through there. Left two. Anyway, that was just a little example of what you can seconds. do. We're going to see if I can stop this recording and make sure it works. Hello folks, welcome to the NetCruiser RC. We're going to do something that I've never tried before, which is going to live record VRC Pro, with his, which is my new kind of racing setup, because everyone's supposed to stay at home, stay isolated through the virus pandemic of 2020. One of our local auto racers is going to host a live race tonight on this track, and I'm going to try and record the race. Alrighty, we are joining this live session. We're gonna see if this works. Oh man, this is not the car that I practiced with. This, Enjoy your racing. <laughs> this is not the car that I practiced with at all. So I'm gonna to need to turn up the, how do I get into the car settings then? Uh, brake power, can, oh, can I turn up? Oh, I can turn up brake power here, cool, okay. And then start. I can just pull out. I should be able to just start. All right, here we go. Man, I was not expecting this to be a pan car. I was practicing on touring cars the whole time. But um, looks like it handles. Whoa! It looks like it handles fairly similar.
I'm just going to practice around for a bit and then I'll start recording when it's time to race. So you can only adjust the multiplayer from pit lane as far as I can tell because if you go back to your pit table it knocks you out of the multiplayer race. So I'm just playing around here. This is uh, the host here in the blue car. I'm in the purple car. So you can, you, have to, you can refuel here. You can change brake. So I've turned brake up to 100% here. Uh, by default it's only at 33. I don't know why they set brake so low at the start. So I'm going to set it to 100. Um, I can give myself a slightly higher pinion I guess. I put 100% anti-roll bar and it helped. Uh, well, let me try it. I'll turn up anti-roll bar to 80%. Okay, so you have to, um, when you're in your little pit row, I'll show you. I'll do a lap here because I turned brake up to 100%. Now if I brake, now it'll actually spin. So I got to be careful on brake now. I'm going to have to turn brake down a bit. So it's not as simple as just dial it up. You have to dial it up and then commit. So I'm going to show you that in a second. So I got to dial, I got to, whoa. I'm going to drive in the pit row. 47 seconds. I went too far. Left three, 40, so you got to be careful 40, when you're pulling in. You got to you got to hit it the first time and then stop. And then I should get a menu. Then this menu pops up. So now here's where I can change this. So I need to dial down my brake to like 70%. It started out at 35. I'm going to go to 70. And then you hit change brake. And then it commits it. So same as with this. This had a default of around like 30%. Um, and it doesn't affect it if you just set it and then drive away. It doesn't work. You have to set it and then hit change ARB. So I'm going to drive this and see what this feels like. That's better. Now I can get on brake. I mean, it doesn't look better, but it feels better. I can get on brake more without it spinning. You have to hit spacebar for the marshal to get you. So it's based on where I last spun out, which is way back here. Well, that might be too much break. Okay, we're starting the race in about 10 seconds. So I need to get into my position on pit lane. And we're going to go. Here we go. First race, VRC. Here we go. We are racing. I'm not sure how long this race is, but we are racing. Whoa. So I turned uh, rear toe to... Whoa. I turned rear toe to 2%. And uh, I've also been adjusting brake. I've got brake at 60%. Your clock has started. My clock has started. Here we go. So, I'm not sure how long this qualifier is, but I will record it because that's what we're doing. So, uh, recording this whole qualifier. Left one, 19. 19 seconds, first lap. Seconds. See if I can beat that second lap. I'm trying to be extra cautious so I don't spin out. Ah, it's like that. That was bad. Left. 18. 18 seconds, second lap, got faster. Let's see if I can do better on this one. Lap three, 17.39 17 seconds, lap three. I'm getting my groove now a little bit. Whoa! I was on my side there. I don't know if you saw that. Left four, 17.51. 17.51. That felt like a faster lap, but it was actually slower. That's what's weird about RC racing. When you feel like you've got a great lap, it can it might not be a great lap. Left five, 18. 18 seconds. seconds. Alright, now I'm just gonna. Try and clock out some laps here. I believe we have collisions on. Yeah, we do have collisions on. Sorry, I just cut that guy off. Whoever that was, that was James. I just cut off. Left nine, nineteen point twelve seconds. Ah, come on! No, crap. 
See, at least it's smart enough where when you do that little U-turn thing, where it realizes that you've marshaled yourself. And so it doesn't penalize you to having to actually wait for a marshal when you've actually fixed it yourself. So, what was that? Stop for fuel now. I think I have to stop for fuel. So I need to uh, refuel, hit L to refuel. And then you have to wait for the timer to go, and now I can go. That was a cool little refuel pit stop. Ten seconds ago, I believe. Whoa, super wide there. Man, if you don't get on the brakes when you're on the... Finish your last lap. Okay. Last lap, finish my lap. Which is right now. 16, 18, Boom. Point 21 nice. Seconds. All right. So that's first qualifier done. You have finished. And I got 16 laps. Uh, I got first position in that qualifier, which is excellent. So, hey, I'm doing not too bad. Right on. I got a 16 laps. Is that me? But my best was a 16.9 on lap 14. 16.934 on lap 14. Pretty cool because it shows me there on the side. Nice. All right, we just did a race, and uh, I missed actually recording it because it just happened out of the blue. I wasn't expecting it, and I just want to see how I did. Oh, I came in second, so I got second in that race. I'm sorry I missed it. I didn't want to actually try and do the hotkey to start recording while I was racing because it brings up like a whole thing over the screen, so I can't see what it's doing. What happened? Your result is... 17 laps in six minutes. I did 17 six, laps in six minutes. I got seven, second position. I was seven, down four laps off the leader. So that was my race. Pretty cool. And here's my settings. So I've got a mid-level pinion. I turned up one tooth on first and second gear and then ARB 30%. I added a two degree on the rear and 60% uh, on brake. And I did have to refuel once throughout the race. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button if you're new or in here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. RC Racing in a pandemic, virtually. Doing what we got to do, right? All right, guys. Stay safe. Stay home.